Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is finally my review of the brand Beauty of Joseon. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video. You know this if you're a subscriber. This is a brand that I actually discovered pretty recently. I guess it was around October of last year that I first tried this brand. Did not think a lot of it initially, but uh, fell in love. This is a brand that is based in Hanbang Principles, which you may have heard of from uh, some of the other more luxury Korean skincare brands. For example, Suwasu. Mm, I love that brand, but they are pricey. This brand is not pricey. We're talking $18 for some of these products here. No added fragrance in the majority of their products. And truly, I'm giving you a spoiler for this video, but some of the most beautiful skincare products that I've stumbled on in a long time. So what I want to do in today's video is give you reviews of all of the products I've been trying. There will be timestamps and links if you want to jump to any particular product. Uh, but also, I do want to start with an overview of my experience, how I am now sitting here today telling you how much I love this brand. A little bit of backstory for this video. So I had not heard of this brand, but the company style Alvana sent me two of their products in PR and I was so blown away. That was initially the Sika Mask and the Glow Serum. What I liked so much from the beginning is the transparency of the ingredients. You all know how important that is to me. So this one right here, the Glow Serum, it says right on the side of the box, 59.94% propolis extract and 2% niacinamide. I find that to be very important information in sculpting an effective skincare routine. It really helps to know how much of those ingredients you're using. And those went so well for me. Listen, when it comes to sheet masks, I have a lot of them. I actually, I may have a box of sheet masks. Tell me I'm not alone. But I loved those sheet masks so much that I finished the entire box in under a month. That is significant for me. So I went back and I bought more from the company, including two of their newer releases. At some point, we should do a video talking about the uh, actual buying experiences from the Korean retailers because I, ha I have discovered that there are pros and cons with buying. We'll make this video today about Beauty of Joseon, I promise. Let me not go down a tangent. Now, a commentary on actually using these products. So I do have a very difficult skin type. I do deal with both dryness as well as acne. So I'm going to be upfront with you that for me, these products have been absolutely wonderful. You are looking at my skin after two weeks of consistently using these products. It's another one of my revisiting videos. But because I have a difficult skin type and I do need actives, what I've been doing is layering these products over the active ingredients that I use. I've really come to conclude that uh, for my needs, I do need to purchase Western products for those higher percentages of actives, but I genuinely think Korean beauty wins for the calming effects, for restoring your skin. And this has just been going so incredibly wonderfully. I've only filmed one of my routines. I'm meant to do two, but life came up. So if you are interested, I'll link you my AM acne routine and, and more will be coming eventually. But I can tell you for now, using these in conjunction with my Western actives, I, I have no complaints about my skin anymore, which is... These products are soothing, they're cosmetically elegant, and the prices are amazing. And that really stands out to me as somebody who did in fact love Suisu, but uh, can't afford to keep up a Suisu routine. I'm sure you can all tell this is going to be an overwhelmingly positive video, but there is really one con that I have with this company, and that is it's, it's a little hard to get in America, which means that if you're on a budget and you see these great prices, do weigh into that, that you may have to pay for shipping. Uh, you know, you may have to wait a little while for your order, but nonetheless, I do think it's very worth it. And let me tell you, in terms of my brands that I wish would come to Ulta wish list, Guess which one is now number one? Let's go ahead and get into product reviews. And since I really don't have a fail, I guess we'll just go in order of routine, except 
I'm going to add in at the end of the video some thoughts on products I haven't tried but are on my wish list. Let's start with the bubble toner which I have not been able to stop raving about on my channel. This is such an amazing AHA containing toner at a very low percentage. This is the kind of percentage that I think most people will be able to use every single day. 25% plum water in here, 3% glycolic. That's a wonderful, very low level, but something that you can use daily. Also contains some soothing ingredients, which is wonderful to have in any kind of an AHA product. We have chlorella, sugarcane, rice bran water, honey extract, ginseng, no added fragrance. And as I've mentioned a few times, my favorite part of this is that it is a bubble toner. How many of you have used those bubble sheet masks? It's kind of a, I guess it's a take on that. It is indeed a bubble product. You buff it into your skin and the bubbles disappear. And you can probably see just how much moisture you get alongside of that AHA. One pump is enough for your face. It's uh, uh, incredible. We're talking about a fun product to use that is also beneficial for your skin, and that's not something that is super easy to come by, especially at a very, very fair price. So this is truly one of my standouts from the brand. I think that, again, almost everybody will be able to use this. I don't have kind of any cons, and I think that you will see results. It will be slower with a 3% AHA product, but you will see immediate soothing and moisturizing and you will um, immediately enjoy it. How, how can you not immediately enjoy a bubble toner? Next up, let's chat about the Ginseng Essence Water. This actually, oh, it's so hard for me to pick an absolute favorite, but I will tell you what I appreciate so much about this is I would call this an anti-aging product. And for once, for once, it doesn't have an utterly ridiculous price tag. Sometimes I do get frustrated by the price tag on anti-aging products. I just feel that it's unnecessary in a lot of cases and it's really just uh, because of the audience. You know, it's assumed that people buying anti-aging products have more money in their bank accounts than somebody buying acne products. And that's kind of the reason for a lot of the price tags on anti-aging products. But don't mind me, I'm just over here becoming bitter over the course of my life. You know how it is. I'm also going to tell you, I no longer want to be without ginseng somewhere in my skincare routine. I started using ginseng uh, after I used Dung Inbi a couple months ago, and the benefits of ginseng are extraordinary. I'll make sure to have some citations in the description box below, but basically what's so interesting about ginseng is that again, we're talking about an anti-aging ingredient, but in a different uh, mechanism. So as opposed to just ramping up collagen production, which is what a lot of anti-aging ingredients do, ginseng actually helps to suppress the degradation of collagen. Again, collagen is another one of those ingredients that you lose in your skin as you age. And, you know, it's great to focus on increasing production of collagen, but you do lose it. And so if you can focus on not losing it, that will help as well. But that is not where we stop with the benefits of ginseng. It also helps to increase hyaluronic acid production. It's a wonderful ingredient for antioxidants, for wound healing, and as is relevant to my acne prone skin, it may even help to fight acne. It's actually a powerful antimicrobial specifically against P. acnes. Are you kidding me? An anti-aging, anti-acne ingredient all in one? Also great for hyperpigmentation. You know, again, it's just one of those powerhouse ingredients that does so much for your skin. And in this product, you get 80% ginseng root water. Plus 2% niacinamide, which might sound low, but again, I think that uh, more recently we've aimed a little too high in niacinamide. I really do. The research doesn't support those high levels of niacinamide. 2% may be a much more optimal level. And this product, you're also getting panthenol, allantoin, adenosine, as well as lactobacillus root ferment. So it does have some fermented ingredients for anybody who can't use that, but if you can, probiotics are yet again another wonderful ingredient in your skincare products. Basically, this is incredible. Have I mentioned this video isn't sponsored? I really should, because it's a little hard for me to uh, restrain my 
deep love for this brand, it really is. We'll talk about the Centella Asiatica Calming Mask next. This is such a beautiful sheet mask. You're getting 15% of that Sika in here. That's a very popular ingredient for helping to heal and restore your skin. Niacinamide, arginine, panthenol, green tea, three forms of hyaluronic acid. Again, no added fragrance in this. This is a wonderful, wonderful sheet mask. Let's move on to the three serums. I bought all three of these because again, I was so impressed with the glow serum that I'd received from Stylevana. I am going to honestly tell you, honestly, that I do think this is the most standout of the three. So the glow serum is 59.94% propolis and 2% niacinamide. Now here's the deal with propolis. Propolis is a wonderful anti-inflammatory ingredient with antioxidant properties, with antimicrobial properties. You know, something that's so fascinating is I haven't added in any more acne fighting products into my routine. I'm not drying my skin out further, but you see that my skin is more clear by using these healing focused products. It's so fascinating. You know, I, I think that sometimes people with acne have this tendency to just keep buying those very harsh, drying products. And sometimes it, it's just not the solution in and of itself. So again, this is why I love products like this that bring in those properties that factor in to the whole picture of acne. Some more ingredient notes on this, even though I've already reviewed this one in the past as well. Uh, this does contain turmeric. It also contains tea tree extract, not to be confused with tea tree oil. So you may be able to tolerate the extract even if you can't use the essential oil itself. Betaine salicylate, and that's an interesting addition to this product and also why I would say this really is a great anti-acne product. So that's a, a BHA that is used in Korea. They cannot use the higher percentages of salicylic acid that we can in America, but that's another form, a much more gentle form, and yet you can see some anti-acne benefits from it. Let me also mention the consistency. So sorry about my band-aid. I am an accident-prone individual. So these all have a little bit of a thicker viscosity to them, a little bit more honestly goopy. I can imagine that some people probably don't love that texture, but as somebody who's used a lot of skincare products, I've anecdotally found that goopier products seem to, uh, seem to work really well. Could be as simple as they're helping to lock moisture in better, but I also think they're probably higher in those beneficial plant ingredients. I'm gonna rank the Calming Serum next, which is the serum that I showed in my anti-acne routine. This one is actually quite nice. Uh, but I don't think it blew my mind quite to the level of the Glow Serum, and yet it's very nice paired with other active ingredients. 76.49% green tea as well as 2% panthenol. So green tea is a wonderful balancing ingredient, and I think that is why if you have oily skin, you may really enjoy this product. And what I mean by saying this is a balancing product, if you have oily skin, you may produce too much oil. And green tea is an ingredient that helps to regulate oil production. So that doesn't mean that it dries out your skin. Instead, it just means that it helps to balance the amount of oil that you produce, which also means if you have dry skin, it's not going to have a negative impact on your skin. And again, a product where they added humectant ingredients, which is important for oily skin to still include in your routine, as well as other antioxidant rich ingredients. Yeah, it's actually really a nice product, just not quite as unique to the market as the Glow Serum. And finally, the Repair Serum, which you'd probably suspect would be my absolute favorite. This has 63.36% ginseng root water, which I already talked about in this video, and 3.1% 3.01% snail secretion filtrate, which I talk about all the time. But again, I feel like I've taken such a, a, an approach to finding products that stand out these days just because there's, there's genuinely tens of thousands of skincare products on the market. I wanna find the ones that really stand out. And what I'll say is this is a nice way to get both ginseng and snail mucin in one product, but I don't see it replacing my COSRX snail essence, especially because the value on that is so much better. It's $23, but you do get, what is it, 3.38 fluid ounces? I've said it so many times, I must have it memorized by now. And yet it still is nice to have that ginseng in here. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if 
This may be my number three serum from them, but I, I can absolutely see how this could be number one for others. Especially if you don't like the feel of the Kosar X. This one is definitely, it's still kind of slimy, but not, not, not quite as... Not quite to the level of the Kosar X. So for me personally, I'd prefer to use their ginseng essence that I raved about earlier in this video, plus my Kosar X. I probably won't repurchase it, but I also don't feel like I threw my money away. It's still, it's still a good product. My wish list products. I don't think I've ever actually done this in a video, but I really do want to try more from this brand. And at this point in the video, are you surprised? You've seen me rave about this brand now for an entire video. So, the Apricot Peeling Gel. I actually do want to try this. The sole reason I didn't run out and buy this is because I think that I think that these products are for specific needs. If you're somebody who uh, likes a little tiny bit of physical exfoliation, I think you're gonna love peeling gels. I did buy the Primera peeling gel and spoiler for the next revisiting trial that I'm gonna do, we're finally gonna do Primera, finally. So I guess I just didn't feel like I need to run out and purchase this, uh, but nonetheless, it does look really nice. And again, you know, if you're somebody who really loves this type of exfoliation, I think you could absolutely love the product. For me, I do, uh, I'm not opposed to physical exfoliation, so I do use slightly more harsh scrubs a couple times a week, whereas I think you could use these peeling gels daily. I have to refilm this portion of the video, but it is a, a very exciting refilming that I'm doing. So the Dynasty Cream, I almost purchased this through Style Ivana. The product has actually been reformulated and you can see this on the beautyofjosan.com, the US website. It is a very exciting reformulation. The sole reason I didn't buy this is because it did previously contain fragrance. And while I hope I never sound like I'm fear-mongering fragrance, it is possible to have an allergy and some people do avoid fragrance. Uh, however, guess what? The new version does not have fragrance. Oh, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Rice bran, ginseng, squalene, niacinamide, three forms of hyaluronic, honey, ceramide. This, I am absolutely amazed. The only thing I'm a little sad about is that they changed the packaging. Did you all see the old packaging? Mm, that was beautiful. Now it's a little more plain, but I'm okay with that. So on those two, if you have any thoughts, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And that's all I have for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.